Hey guys, glad to have you back with Chasing Guns Outdoors. We're going to be showing you six different ways to use the fish mouth spreader today. Stay tuned and we'll get you those clips. Alright, first up is the clean canteen. This is the 40 ounce clean canteen and the fish mouth spreader bought at Walmart. All you got to do is pinch it, stick it inside the clean canteen, let go, and hang it above your fire. And as you can see here, uh, the string is tied to the top of the tripod, which is just three sticks hinged together. And there we have it. First method down. All right, guys. Second method for the fish mouth spreader. All right, if you take the fish mouth spreader and actually hook them together, this creates a, a tight fitting between these two pieces of wire. And in doing that, if you take a cast iron skillet, most of the cast iron skillets come with a hole right here, which will allow you to take the fish mouth spreader, stick it in straight up and down, and once you get it in, you can twist it. And that will allow you to pick up your skillet hold it over the fire or to do work sc scrambling eggs or whatnot to keep your hands from getting getting burned again let's try that all you do fasten this guy together like so take it and stick it in the gap twist it and then at that point you have created a method of getting hot grease or whatever you're baking cooking and I mean you can move it around pretty good without spilling stuff and it's pretty quick all right second method down all right guys so the third method that we're going to use today is take your fish mouth spreader take you three sticks that come up to about your waist <clears throat> and all of these sticks are about the size of your pinky uh, you have to make sure that, that, that it's about pinky size, otherwise it will not fit inside of the ring. And as you, you, all you do is just take your fish mouth spreader, slide it over Daddy. the three pieces, Daddy. and make sure, make sure that you go ahead and twist these guys just like, just like you would do um, with tying these guys up. Otherwise it will not hold good. And once you get it twisted, it's got some pretty good tension on it and you can actually sharpen the bottom side of each one of your three sticks and stab them down into the ground there we go and you can put a lot of weight on that anyway that's the third one all right guys on to the fourth one what we've got here is a handheld light that i have taken the paracord out of the end and fish mouth spreader you want to leave the spreader closed for this, but that way you can squeeze it even tighter and take each prong on this and run it through the lanyard hole on your light. Now what you have created here is a method to hold your light up. And you can pull on this guy all you want to. It's, it's not going to come off. You can hang it on your ridge line inside of your tarp or hang it on the inside of your tent and have light inside of your shelters. And on to number five. Now, we have just went through the clean canteen where we hook the canteen like so, right? All right, over the fire. But now what we're going to do is put the top back on and we're going to create a canteen holder for my belt. Same way, close the fish mouth spreader. Well, if I can, close it. All right, when you close the spreader, pinch it down even further and the, the clean canteen top is just wide enough where you can fit the spreader over it and it closes perfect. It's a lot of tension behind that and you can let go right there. Now, 
that has just created me a water bottle holder. All right, so check out what I do with this to show you what we're gonna do here. All right, you can run this belt through the bottom and run it around, or you can run the belt through the hole. Set that guy to your side. There we go. Now, I have just created me a method of transportation for my water bottle without having to carry a pack. And it's, it's not going to come off. All right, let me get this guy off. Give you a closer look. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, on to the very last one. This is gonna be kind of like the comical one that everybody will never expect. So hope you enjoy the last one. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the six different methods of using the fish mouth spreader. Uh, I hope that God blesses you to the fullest extent. May you have a blessed day. Enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe, like the channel. Uh, thank you for everything that you do for me, my family, and uh, almost to hit that 500 subscriber mark. And again, God bless you. Have a good day.